Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live night. Um, I've got Patsy Palmer here in the studio with me. You wanna say hi, Patsy? Looks like I'm there. Hello. <laughs> so we're um, having some fun. We've been working this week, um, prepping things for retreat, which I've got uh, a retreat is next week. And um, that is gonna be great. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we've been busy prepping stuff and getting stuff ready. I'm going to show some, um, new, um, product, some pre-order product and some fun stuff coming up. And then I'm also going to show a kit and then we're going to make some Christmas cards. So let me make sure that I can see us on the computer because then I can see all of your comments. Um... Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> I know that it's all been acting a little glitchy, but I think we finally got the feed worked out. So that's good. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Good. All right, I'm going to swing us down and we're going to have some fun. Ooh, let's see. I need to move this over. Okay. Very good. All right. Getting ourselves situated. So first I'm going to show you guys, um, this is on pre-order for demonstrators only right now. The reason I'm showing it to you is because if you wanted to join Stampin' Up! this month, we have those two great join deals, right? One of them is 35% off the kit, so the kit's like $64 and change. Or one of them is 35% more in your kit, so you get $168 worth of stuff for only $99. So both of those are to celebrate the 35th anniversary. But you might be thinking, well, I've already got all of my holiday crafting supplies, but you might not have this. So uh, this is pre-order from Online Exclusive. So these will be available to customers next month in November. There's a brand new Glimmer paper, and I'll show you the other sheets of it. There's a really pretty, um, this is Pecan Pie Center Stripe Ribbon that I actually think is going to tie really nice bows. There are these fun um, brass um, butterfly or uh, dragonflies and birds, and they're called adhesive-backed dragonflies and birds. Thank goodness. Um, but these are really pretty. There's two stamp sets with dies. There's one that says Garden Meadow. Um, and I'll show you why. I, I think the imagery is, is nice. I think the lettering's good. Um, but there's a die in here that is really nice. And it's a window. So it does, and it creates this embossing on the outside and the inside of the die cut piece, which is really cool. Um, so, hey, Lynn. So this is a really cute die set and stamp set. Uh, and then there's paper that goes with it. And, you know, it's doing that thing where it blacks out every once in a while. Anyway. All right. So the paper is um, really, really beautiful. And it has all of these hand-painted seams. Um, this is Patsy. Patsy likes the paper. Mm -hmm. she's, a, she's a big fan of the paper. Yes. Um, it's, it's it is. It's really pretty. It makes really fast and beautiful cards, especially if you're going to die cut a piece with this die, right? And then you're going to put it on a paper. Um, it can make some really fast and beautiful cards. Um, and then the back side of this paper is all um, like florals or washes. Um, lots of like pretty sky um, and some like florals and then some, you know, what I would say are painterly pieces. So pieces that have different, you know, paint swatches and stuff on them. So all these papers were hand painted by artists at our home office, which is really cool. We have some really talented people on the Stampin' Up! team right now who are making our paper and it has been a lot of fun. Um, so that is Garden Meadow, um, and that is Meandering Meadow Paper, and then Garden Meadow. Now both of these are, all of this is available to demonstrators right now as a pre-order, but if you're not a demonstrator and you wanted to get this stuff sooner, now would be a great time to join our team. Um, 
So that is Garden Meadow, Mandarin Meadow. And then the other super cute set is called Fluffiest Friends. And there is a die set that comes with it. Um, but I mean, he's holding up little sticks like the beaver is in a heart shape. It's very cute. Um, it's a very cute stamp set. The dies are really cute. There's also kind of a window shaped die for this one too. Um, and there's a, um, so there's like a, an arch way that you can put the animals in. And there's also a really cute little beehive that embosses the paper as well. That one's really cute. Lots of little leaves and, and pieces and little balloon. Um, so for him cutting out his balloon and making it 3D. So a lot of really cute, um, pieces in these sets. And this is all available for pre-order as a demonstrator, or if you were to join as a demonstrator, you can actually make this part of your starter kit. That's kind of one of the cool things about whenever we have a pre-order is that if you're a demonstrator, you can get it in your starter kit. So I'm going to show you the other papers so you have to see these. So there's the um, purple, which is Highland Heather. There's Petal Pink. And then there's Pretty Peacock which is super, super, super gorgeous. Um, so beautiful glimmer papers. This is, I think, called like the Glimmer Trio or something. Three colored glimmer is what that's called. So I wanted to show that off because I thought that was really cool. And it's available um, to demonstrators and those who wanna join right now, which is neat. The other thing I wanted to show off was the kit that I just got in the mail. Um, so you guys know I love me some kits. Um, but this kit's really cool. So let me try to get all the pieces out. So this one is um, the Advent. It's called the Rustic Christmas, what is it called? Rustic Christmas Countdown Kit. Um, and it has, um, of course, dimensionals. It's got some thick, this isn't linen thread, this is like a twine, and then a red twine as well. It has really substantial clips for each of the pieces, which is good, because that means that you could put chocolates or something in here. These are really sturdy, um, solid. And then these are the envelopes, and then you decorate them, and then you clip them on, and you can hang them as the Advent days happen. So there's wood grains, there's gold pieces, like some brushed gold pieces, points, uh, really pretty um, gold uh, red sequins, some bows, some poinsettias, some wreath pieces, and then when it's all fit together, then you have a really fun countdown kit. And you could put Bible verses in here, you could put fun activities to do. You can also fit like a Ghirardelli square you know, a Ghirardelli chocolate, a Dove chocolate, those would all fit in here really nicely. So it's got some pretty good, you know, capacity as well. So, so I'm very excited to put this together and um, hang this up in my house. Um, and um, if you don't have a countdown or you would like to get one, um, it is $19 and right now, today, is still free shipping. Um, if your order is 75 or more, you get free shipping. And so... Today's a great day to do some Stampin' Up! shopping for sure. Um, we are going to make, we're gonna make the kit. So um, this month's um, kit that we did for our team featured Night Divine, which is a stamp set that I actually don't have. Um, and so I have this stamp set, Hope and Peace, that I got last year and never had a chance to use. And so I'm gonna use it tonight and we're gonna make these cards. Um, it also features some of the really nice ribbon um, and some of the festive pearls. So everybody who got the team kit um, got this in the mail. And the festive pearls, they're red ones. They just hide under the label. It's funny. So there's some there's some red ones up there too. I like the festive pearls. I think they're they're cool. Uh, I think I'm including them in my Merrymaker for this month. So this month or next month? One of them. All right, let's make some cards. So, let's see here. All right, first card. So this one, we have a piece of vellum, 
And then we've got a really cute piece of this. So this um, month, the paper that we featured was the Shining Brightly. Is that what the paper is? Shining Brightly. Okay. Um, Shining Brightly. It's nice having someone in the room who can answer my questions. Um, Shining Brightly DSP. And so um, this is super nice paper that has a very shiny side and then it has a very matte side on the back. So we are going to, um, I feel like I might have glued that before I was supposed to. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes I, should I have waited? Oh no. Okay, good. Huh. There we go. See? All right. So this panel is going to cover the whole front panel of the card, which is nice. And then we've got a piece here of the vellum. And remember, we're going to want to glue this down kind of secretly. But before we do that, we're going to use the ribbon and we're going to um, do a few things. So we're going to attach the uh, Christmas lights here. And I don't know if I'm going to use the lights or I want to use the stripes. I might do the stripes instead of the lights, but I don't know. I like the lights, they're cute. All right, so we'll do the lights. So I'm going to glue this down, kind of where I think I want it to go. And then we're gonna stamp our sentiment. And I'm gonna do, for this one, I think I'm gonna do the Tidings of Comfort and Joy. I think it fits on there pretty well. And I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. It's a nice, a nice green. So, all right, let's do. Hmm. I need a new Mossy Meadow ink pad. Or some re-inker, maybe. All right, so let's stamp this. Hopefully that's somewhat straight. All right, straight enough, right? All right, so we're gonna take our ribbon and we're gonna wrap it around the vellum piece and then just make sure we've got, you know, enough left over that we can tie a bow. I find it easiest to tie a knot first, especially if you've got a loose piece like this. So we'll tie a knot first. And then if it's too tight, if you tie a slip knot, then you can just like basically unfurl it until you get it to the right dimensions. And then we're gonna put this piece on with some dimensionals. I've got some here. So I'm going to put a couple of mini dimensionals on the top. Just because the channel above the ribbon, I kind of just need something small. And then I'll use some of these bigger ones on the bottom. And you can see that I'm building this panel on the vellum before I glue it down. And that's so that I can know where to put my glue. So I can hide my glue here behind my pieces. And that'll help to glue this down on the card front without you seeing any of the glue. Because you know vellum, it's tough to, it's tough to glue have to hide glue on the vellum for sure. So we're gonna tie a little knot and then there we go. Get a little bow. That one's kind of furled up, but I can get them to unfurl. All right. And there we go. There's your first card. So super different kind of way to build a card with the vellum. I think it's really nice. Um, hopefully, uh, I see the video is acting really bizarre, but we'll see. Um, so
So tonight I'm curious to see kind of which one you like the best. So this is the one with the vellum. So yay, uh, Lynn. Thanks for saying hi to Patsy too. So uh, yes, we've been having some good mother, daughter-in-law, whatever, bonding time. Um, so there we go. Oh, and then we can add some, of course, uh, we're going to add some of the red to this. So I have to do this looking at me though. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot add accessories upside down guys. I can do a lot upside down, but I'm not, there we go. All right. There we go. So card number one, done. Easy peasy. All right, card number two is a little bit of uh, a fun fold, and I'll kind of show you how it was designed and maybe how I'm going to have to adapt it. <laughs> so we've got some designer series paper, this cute holly print, and we're going to put this on the inside so that we've got a place to write, which is good. And then... We've got two folds, so we're gonna put our designer series paper on the outside. I will say I really do like the matte finish on the back of this, like I like the red and white prints that are on the back of these sheets. Um, but uh, in this class, I will probably use the shiny side for all of them. So. Uh, who doesn't like a little shiny, shiny side? So if these papers don't look familiar to you, it's because they're an online exclusive and they're in the online store. Um, and so it just means that you hadn't, you know, you hadn't seen them yet, um, which is no big deal. Um, so this originally, let's check a couple things. So originally um, the scalloped contour dies, they used the really large one for this. If I had the really large sentiment that said, he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. If I had that really big piece, it would fit perfect, but I don't. So I used the scallop contour dies and I decided to try to go down one and see if that would work with this sentiment, which is the um, peace on earth and goodwill to men. And I think that'll look just lovely on here. I could go down even one size further if I really wanted to. Um, I could also go horizontal if I wanted to, um, and, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep this one vertical. So I'm gonna pull this off. I don't have my wipes near me, don't judge. So, and apparently I only have one block tonight. I don't know where all my blocks are, but. All right, let's do, we'll do some cherry cobbler with this one. And then we can um, go ahead and add a piece of ribbon if we wanted to tie like a little bow or something at the top, we can, and I think I'm going to. Um, it was designed a little differently where there's another panel behind it, um, but I'm okay with that not being here. Um, so I'm gonna, I like this ribbon a lot. So. I, I've already gone through a few rolls of it. Maybe that's why they're on back order, right? We just love all the stuff so much. A lot of the accessories are on back order right now, the ribbons and stuff. Um, and so I'm hoping that, you know, we'll get another round in before the holidays so that we can all make our, our holiday cards. And this ribbon just ties really pretty bows. I know that's why I like it. So I'm gonna kind of keep this bow a little bit smaller just because it's, um, you know, right here um, at the top and I don't want it to take away from the bottom piece too much. And then I'm just gonna attach the top of the panel to the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some adhesive like at the top and then right about here. And then that will help me to hold the card together. I could have used dimensionals as well if I really wanted to. And then we'll add some cute little pieces. There we go. All right, card number two. Fun fold, easy. 
All right, card number three. Let's check out the comments from you guys too. Um, let's see if anybody else has commented. The feed is definitely weird, so if it's delayed, I'm sorry, but I will see your comments, I promise. Uh, actually, I might leave this one out. So, all right. So this card, we're gonna make a belly band. And we're using the deckled circles on this one. So we have two deckled circles, just cute. We've got the fun little panels. So this is one where I'm not a huge, like this isn't my favorite pattern on the planet and it's definitely tempting to maybe use the reverse side of this one. Um, but I'll go ahead and use the shine because I know that it'll have a lot of wow, right? Everybody likes, everybody likes wow. They like to be bedazzled, right? That's right. So we'll put one panel on one side and one on the other. So belly band cards, I love making them. I just think that sometimes people don't know how to take them apart. So I believe these cards are best given in person <laughs> so that they don't destroy your work. So I like to fold and hide the belly band piece um, behind the front so that you, you know, you're not gonna see the connection. So it's kind of seamless. Um, that's always my, you know, recommendation. And I usually just kind of hold my finger where this is gonna go so I know like only put the adhesive here so you don't see the adhesive. And then we have two circles. So we're gonna have one circle and then we're gonna pop another circle on top of it. Um, in addition to that, we're going to, of course, tie some ribbon around and tie a little bow over here. Uh, that might be about all for this ribbon. I'll get some more ribbon. I've got more of this for the next one. I'm generous with my ribbon. My ribbon usage, right? All right, so I'm gonna slide this on the belly band and make a bow. Oh, pretty big bow. And then we're gonna glue the larger one down flat. So I'm probably going to, I'm gonna kind of slide the ribbon up and then I'm gonna slide the ribbon down to give myself room for glue. And then I'm gonna kind of manipulate it a little bit on this seal plus. So we've got our big circle here. And then this circle we're gonna stamp on. And for this one, I don't know. I might do, I think I might do the one we just did. I think I like this cinnamon a lot and I think it'll fit pretty well. So again, this was probably meant for a larger sentiment, but I think it's fine. And we'll add a couple of little doodads and it'll be great. So, I'm gonna cut our edges. That's nice. And then I will add some, some sequins whatever they are, little, whatever these are. Mm -hmm. There. So now we have a nice belly band on the card and you can just slide that off and then write your card. All right, so we've got one more card that we're gonna make. So let's see, let's see if there's any comments. So you're gonna have to tell me which one's your favorite. Um, let's see, going this way. So this one, we have the cute little candy canes. I love them, they're so cute. 
And then we've got the new, there's a new hexagon punch. Um, and so um, the hexagon punch is um, super cute. And we're going to stamp a sentiment on that one. I think for that one, I'll probably use the tidings of comfort and joy, just because I think it'll fit pretty good. If it doesn't, we'll, um, you know, we can always try something else. Those are probably my two favorite um, of the, the set. I have to, yeah, I'm, I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> nice, very nice. All right, so we're gonna kind of layer these pieces on top of each other, and then this piece is um, been punched with the new, there's a new tag topper punch, and so uh, it adds a little bit of a, you know, a delicate detail to the whole situation. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get some more of the ribbon. Hopefully. Hopefully I've got it in here. Ooh. Ooh. I don't need that too. Okay, we're gonna use a, an, a, an alternative ribbon. So I've got this one that's kind of a shiny ribbon. So we'll use this one. All right, so we're gonna add this piece of DSP to the front. And then, I'm just gonna do that in the middle. And then I'm going to wrap this around and we'll, um, I need to add the white piece next, actually. So I'm creating some, some layers. And then we'll have this and we'll tie. I'm probably gonna tie a knot. This doesn't tie bows as nicely, so I'll probably do a knot with this one. this up with some dimensionals. Just put them at the top and the bottom so that they kind of create a channel for the, the ribbon to go in. Very cute. And then we'll add some Dads. Oh, and then we'll add it to the card because you know that's an important part. <laughs> that looks relatively straight. Nice. Okay, so we made four cards. Just using a sentiment set, nothing, nothing super fancy, right? Um, using DSP, which I mean, our designer series paper is gorgeous, and um, it makes fast, easy cards. So we've got um, the really cute kind of layered tag piece. We've got the very nice um, belly band card, and then we've got the fun fold is like a top top flap fold and then we have the one with the vellum so you guys can tell me which one is your favorite so is it the vellum is it the uh, fun flap fun fold the belly band or the one with the tag so Super curious to know, um, and I do have some giveaways from last week. I need to draw names because people got packets from last week's class, um, so I will make sure to do that, um, but um, yeah, I hope that everyone has a wonderful week, and we are moving on to uh, Christmas cards here, working on our Christmas cards, trying to get those um, made so that everybody gets a beautiful Christmas card this year. Lynn, your favorite is the belly band. Okay, I do like it. It's nice. Um, I think I think my favorite is the vellum, which probably isn't a surprise because you guys know I like vellum. 
I think it's very simple but very pretty. Um, but um, I had a feeling the, the belly band would be popular, so uh, good. All right, well, I can't wait to see what everyone else says. I'll definitely reply in the comments. Um, don't forget, tonight is the last night for free shipping, so um, it's been running for three days, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, free shipping, $75 orders or more. Um, I do really like the hearts in this little pattern, though. I think this paper is very cute. So, Shining Brightly uh, is the DSP, and the stamp set we use tonight is called Hope and Peace, um, and it has some very nice sentiments in it. So, um, thank you guys for joining me, and um, I will flip you guys around, and I will see you... I'll see you next week, okay? Um, next week, I'll be coming live from the retreat, so just know that. So, um, signal's sometimes crazy out there, but lovely to see you, and um, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye, y'all.